welcome to the Hooked on Needles podcast. My name is Maricela, or Mari if you prefer. Today is December 7th, 2017, and this is episode 24. Hello, if you are a returning viewer, and um, hello, if you are a new viewer. Um, I guess they should be the same kind of hellos, right? Hello to whatever kind of viewer you are. <laughs> Um, I'm so glad that you guys, uh, stopped by and are keeping me a little company and hopefully I'm keeping you a little company today. Um, I have been a little sick. Uh, my little one got sick over the weekend. I got sick after that and now my biggest one is homesick from school. Uh, she's miserable. So, um, hopefully just today and then she will get over it. So, um, anyways, um, I have been busy with other things, therefore I feel like I have not been crafting as much. Hopefully I will. I'm actually going to look at the actual, like, me talking because I tried recording earlier and it was very blurry because I was trying to stay looking at the camera. And so now I'm going to actually look at what I look like and hopefully it will not be too fuzzy I don't know um anyways so yeah welcome back um I have a little bit of stuff to show you guys uh let me see if I can get that window out of frame I don't know so it's not so like bright lights behind me or whatever um anyways it is a very very dreary Thursday here in the state of Georgia um, it's actually been quite miserable the last couple of days uh, I think the two days before today it had been raining and it was really cold and just gloomy and today it's gloomy I mean it's not raining but you know it doesn't really make your spirits want to say hey let's go outside it's like stay inside go back to bed <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, I will be drinking some tea today. I have this Tazo refreshment thing. Uh, like I said, I have been under the weather, so anything that'll help. And I'm drinking out of my Kansas City mug. Oh, that feels so good. Um, my brother-in-law brought that back. From a business trip he had out there he was like Starbucks didn't have the, the mug so I got you this one I was like thanks so yeah I appreciate it either way um all right so let's jump in sorry <laughs> hasn't been anything nitty related or crafty related but um this is a video podcast of the yarny things that I am up to so I will start off with my finished objects I'm going to show you these because these will be going off to Mexico. Um, I'm going to hand them over to my sister over the weekend so she can uh, send them over to our loved ones. Um, this is, mm, I think I'm going to switch. Okay, sorry, I had to switch because the light over there was not good at all. Um, so anyways, um, I was showing you guys this hat. Um, I made this for my sister's friend's son, if that makes any sense. Um, like I've mentioned before, she usually sends stuff to, to them along with stuff for um, our brother and our nephews. And so she actually called me last night and was like, hey, can you... Do you have um, a little beanie for her son? I was like, um, I don't know, but if I don't, I'll just make one. And uh, I cast on 80 stitches using 4.5 millimeter needles, my dreams that I have, and did a one by one ribbing for 12 rows. And then I switched to five millimeter needles, did 10 rows in stockinette, two rows in garter, and that was my pattern going up 
all the way up to the decreases. I decreased, they still did the 10 rows and then the two rows and then decreased there. So um, it doesn't look very big, but I have realized that um, our loved ones in Mexico have smaller craniums for some reason. I don't know what that is, why that is, but they do. Um, when I make them stuff that fits us, it actually tends to be rather big on them. So I decided to make stuff that was that fit us, yet it was kind of tighter on us. So hopefully it'll be kind of perfect on them. So this is it. Um, like I said, I didn't follow a pattern or anything. And the yarn that I used was some Fibra Natura in the blue color. Um, because I went to Tuesday morning the other day with my son and I found some um, and that's the same color that I'm using for his sweater so I was like just in case I run out I'll get some uh, so I got that and then I finished off I don't remember if I mentioned this this one was already done actually last time I podcasted I just still haven't woven in the ends which is what I just need to do and um this is a video tutorial i followed by aoyama crochet i think i've mentioned her plenty of times she is one of my favorite um tutorials because she does both um she speaks spanish but she usually has the english subtitles so if you um would want to do that then you go ahead and for that i used a 10 millimeter crochet hook. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 10 millimeter crochet hook. And I used two uh, strands at a time. Um, I bought two of these big um, wildflower from Red Heart Super Saver um, color uh, balls. And then two smaller ones of the turquoise. And this is all I have left. Out of two of each, this is all that's left. So, um, yeah. But I hope the little one likes it. That will be off to Mexico along with the hat. And I had shown you guys that gray yarn that I got um, hoping to make a hat for my cousin. Um, but as I kept looking at the hat, I mean, at the, at the yarn, I was like, it's very gray. It's only gray. Maybe I'll over dye a little, a little bit. And so I did. So I over dyed it with Kool-Aid. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I used grape, fruit punch, and orange. And the orange actually came out kind of yellowy, yellowish see that look at those beautiful colors just with kool-aid isn't that amazing anyways this is the beautiful yarn that came out of it this is all that i have left out of that skein of yarn that i showed you guys because i turned it into a slouchy hat and this is actually going to be going to mexico because um one of the hats that I had made previously for my nephew, um, I realized I didn't really like it. And so I decided to make him a new one. And so this is it. So this is a slouchy hat. Um, but he is a teenager, so I don't think he'll mind. Um, but yeah, so look at how beautiful... The yarn came out, and see, like I said, the orange came out yellow with, because of the gray, which I just think looks beautiful. So I over dyed it myself, and I really liked the results. Um, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I just kind of did it, and um, yeah, very happy with the results. So those three will be going to Mexico. Um, with the remainder of the yarn, whoa, 
sorry about that. <laughs> With the remainder of the yarn, um, I ended up making the Hurricane Hat by Andrea Golden, I believe that's her name. It is a very simple pattern, but it, you come up with this gorgeous, gorgeous hat. I actually cast on the night before Thanksgiving and I finished it in Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving Day. And this will be going to my cousin. Um, I was debating whether to keep it or not for my son just because he looks so adorable in it. But then I'm like, he looks adorable in everything. <laughs> totally biased but you know hey he's my kid um so anyways this will be going to my cousin I totally recommend the pattern it is beautiful I really do think I'm going to end up making another one for my son uh, just because I really liked it um and so yeah and then I also finished off this slouchy hat that I uh, was making for my sister's friend and it's actually not the friend that's going to be getting not the one in Mexico she's got a friend here that um, I, like I had said before I apparently promised her a hat and I never delivered um, so hopefully she'll like it um, I don't remember the name of it I know it was the loops and thread yarn um, but I don't remember what kind it is. I know I got it on clearance. I don't know if they still make this yarn. It is beautiful. It's more like roving than it is yarn. <laughs> um, but I just love those colors and the way it knit up is just gorgeous. So yeah, I again put it on my little boy and was like, maybe he won't give it to her because looks really nice in it <laughs> but I think he has enough hats and if he doesn't I'll just make more it's fine um so yeah and then using I don't know I don't know what brand it is I know it's thick and quick in a green color um I made this hat and this is actually going to one of my nephews here for Christmas. Um, and so, yeah. Um, I didn't follow a pattern. I just kind of did it. But I don't remember what I did. I think I cast on maybe six days. I don't know. Nope. Nope. I don't know. I don't know how many I cast on because... My decrease is only a five. One, two, three, four, five. So I don't know, multiple of five apparently. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and um, that will be going to him. Oh, my ear. Um, anyways, and then I also finished off these beautiful mittens that are for my little one. They're so adorable. And uh, he loves them. He's been asking me to wear them. Mom, can I please just wear them? I'm like, no, gotta wait till I record. So I'm glad I'm recording today because it has been getting colder in the mornings and therefore he can now wear these. There we go. And I also finished off my Mama by Elizabeth, nope, Isabel Kramer. Not Elizabeth, Isabel. Isabel Kramer she designed this mama mamas um, really good pattern you kind of have to focus on here for a little bit so you don't mess up um, this whole garter stitch down here right here all of that should have been in this dark purple but I knew I wasn't going to have enough, so I just kept using my light purple. 
and sure enough i had enough for the for one row and the bind off row and then i barely had any left so i'm glad i decided to do that um although i do have like a whole nother brand new ball of yarn of the dark purple but i didn't want to break into it because i was like then i'm only gonna have like half of one what am i gonna do with that so i'd rather have the whole one and then just have used up most of the um of the others that i was hoping to use oh apologies anyways um so yeah i really really enjoyed it so if you are wanting to make something rather quick um i used 6.5 millimeter my chow goo interchangeables sorry um then i totally recommend you try this it's really nice and very squishy the yarn that i used was merino and alpaca so it is very soft and you can see the beautiful halos on there right yep there it is beautiful i actually wore it out the other day because um it was really cold like i said it's been kind of gloomy here so i wore it out and it was really nice um and I believe that is all I have to show you as finished objects. Um, works in progress. I am still working on my broken seed stitch socks, although they have not had much love at all. Oh, it's a tangled mess in here. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I guess I don't remember if I moved the stitch marker last time I talked to you guys um but as you can see it is full of mistakes I forgot what to do how to do it where I was and it's not difficult to read your knitting I was just not paying attention to be honest um so I mucked it up a couple of times um but hey they're for me i will be the one wearing them and suffering the consequences so i am okay with that but the funny thing is like i made the same mistakes on both of them so yay to me i don't know <laughs> um so they will be evenly messed up um so yeah but i am still working on those and I am still working on my son's flax. Wishful thinking uh, was hoping to be done for Thanksgiving, but it wasn't. We are having a get together um, this Saturday. I don't know if it'll be done by then because um, if it wasn't done for Thanksgiving, I highly doubt I will finish it in two days. But hey, like I said, wishful thinking. Um, and I think that's it. I will show you something that I had worked on, but had to rip out two times, guys. Two times. Um, I had mentioned that my biggish one wanted fingerless gloves. So I had made her one all done and everything and she tried it on and she goes mom i don't think i like this and i was like okay what do you want me to do she's like i don't know and so i was like you need to have an idea like you know what you want you need to just let me know and so we came up with she wants a one by one rib solid stockinette and she does want an individual hole for the fingers and just not finish them off so she doesn't want a complete glove she just wants fingerless gloves oh so this is what i ripped out this was a whole mitten already done so with that there i will show you 
that I have plenty to make her another one, right? Like there's plenty of yarn in here to finish, to make another, another thing. So these two, here they are. Um, so now that I know what she wants, I will be starting them again. And like I said, it's been cold, so I'm really hoping to get on those. But I also wanna finish the sweater. So if I don't finish this sweater, um, I don't know what I'm going to do because I kind of want to finish it before Christmas and have him wear it at Christmas, but um, my family decided that they wanted us to wear ugly sweaters for on Christmas Day. So if I, if I put this on him, they're going to think it's his ugly sweater and I don't think it's ugly. And I love it. And so, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, my daughter and I already got our sweaters for Christmas, our ugly sweaters. Um, but I think hers is really cute. Hers got like gingerbread houses and gingerbread men and stuff. And it's really adorable. <sighs> I don't know, but whatever. Um, so, we'll see. Um, I still have to get... Um, I have to go shopping with my husband and find one for him. Um, and my son, I believe my sister got one for him. She was sending me some pictures because I hadn't found any for him, like in his size. So she sent me some pictures. And the ones she found, they weren't like sweater. They were t-shirt, but they had the sweater-esque thing. Like it had like the knit stitches and stuff. But it was not a sweater. It was just like a t-shirt. So that was the closest thing we could find. So um, I think that's what he's going to end up wearing on Christmas Day. Um, and yeah, so um, let me get into why I haven't really, or I feel like I haven't really had much time to craft. Um, so... In a previous episode, I had mentioned that we were house hunting and um, the hunt is over. We actually have already bought a house, um, but we decided to fix it up a little bit before we move in. So that's what's been going on. I have been busy trying to tile our kitchen. Um, husband's been putting in laminate floor in the living room. And we are hoping to also tile the bathrooms because the kitchen and the bathrooms right now, um, or before we started doing anything on it, had uh, the sticker floor is what I'm calling it, which is basically just like a sticker on top of the plywood. Um, I don't know. It has a name, but I don't know what it is. I just call it sticker floor because that's what it was. Um, and so we decided that we wanted to put some tile in since it will be a high traffic area. Uh, husband and I are, I say unfortunately, but fortunately at the same time, we are doers where we like to do stuff ourselves. So, uh, like I said, I have been tiling the kitchen. Husband's been uh, doing the floor in the living room. Um, it's been kind of hard because he travels a bit, so there have been times where I have had to go by myself with the kids to fix up the house, and it gets kind of, it can be a little chaotic, you know, trying to maintain a seven-year-old calm while I am working uh, can get a little difficult, you know? Um, so I don't think we have made, um, as much progress as we would like, but at the same time, we are far better than where we were. So that is okay. Um, I'm not sure when we will be moving in, um, but we will see, um, the house is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Uh, plenty of space for us. Did I say two bedroom? I meant three bedroom. Three bedroom, two and a half bath. 
um but anyways uh it is plenty big the kids have their own rooms um we have a room we have a very nice closet and bathroom area um they will be sharing a bathroom um and then our half bath actually is also our laundry room uh, which at first i was a little like i do wish the laundry was by itself but um it kind of will be because i mean it'll be the guest bathroom but um yeah so i don't know i feel like it, it basically does have its own room just because how often does one have guests you know <laughs> Um, so anyways, and, um, we have a two-car garage, and it, in the garage area, we also have an area that is basically an unfinished basement type, and so we are hoping to one day finish that off and turn it into a bonus room where the kids can play, and the other side of it will be, um, my craft room so um yeah so hopefully we will be able to um do that later on and um just kind of grow in into it i guess um i feel like we're good with with that um we have a little creek in the back which my son loves uh when we first got it because we actually have had it for a little while i just hadn't said anything because i wasn't sure if husband was going to be okay with it um <clears throat> so when we actually first bought it it was in warmer weather and so um he was able to go out there and play and get wet and everything and so before we we left to go over there he was like oh make sure you have my change of clothes because i want to go play in the creek in the creek and i was like okay so um yeah so when some um you know summer and warm weather is out i know he's gonna have a blast playing in that creek and um yeah so uh yeah i'm very excited and happy and yet nervous at the same time um but yeah, hopefully good things will come and um, yeah, I'm excited. So that's kind of why I haven't really had much time to craft because when we go work on the house, I come home and I am aching places where I didn't know I could ache. <laughs> um, but you know, that's what happens when you're actually working and doing stuff. Um, so yeah um but it's been even though it's been very tough and at times frustrating and renovation guys let me tell you that is a uh, a marriage um tester like because you are both of you are like walking on eggshells and yet everyone's walking on eggshells on you you know like you get irritated easier um and then finding the right compromising uh and all that stuff like you as a couple get tested a lot um and so i hope husband and i make it out okay um and we will get done i am hoping that he will uh, i think he was supposed he's supposed to take some vacation days coming up and so hopefully we will be able to make a bigger dent in the in what we want to get done so um the good thing is that having tiled the kitchen uh we want to tile the bathrooms and so now we kind of know what we're doing uh, we'll be able to work a little bit faster and all of that good stuff so that's really exciting and um yeah so i just wanted to let you guys know i just um i don't want you to think i was trying to keep it from you but you know i am married and just because i think something's okay doesn't mean that husband does 
So I needed to make sure he was okay with me telling you guys and all of that stuff. So he was. Um, but yeah, so we are homeowners. We actually made our first mortgage payment this month. And uh, yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping to be moved in. Um, whenever, whenever it's ready. So um, yeah, I can't wait to be there and start a new little chapter in our lives. And yeah, I'm excited. So um, anyways, that's pretty much all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, I very much appreciate it. I'm sorry, I was, I'm trying to make, you know, some advancement in this, in those, in that thing. So, um, I'm sorry if I think you felt like I was not giving you my complete attention and I'm sorry for the very bad camera. Um, my phone's being weird. Anyways, um, thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm very happy to, um, to be part of you guys' um, day, and I appreciate it very much. So I hope you are all doing well, and hasta la próxima.